Hello, I'm Joshua Allen Rager. Ten years ago, I started writing a script for a short movie with two goals in mind. The first, to showcase my Kung Fu, Eight Step Praying Mantis, and the second, to bring awareness to human trafficking. Once again, I found myself exhausted after Face of the Dragon took a whopping five years to complete pre-production and production. Now, granted, there were some major personal issues, Hurricane Irma, and COVID to contend with, but still, five years? And post-production would then take another year. The last scene we filmed for Dragon was on my dad's boat in May of 2021. In August 2021, my family was rocked by a terrible tragedy. The death of my father-in-law ignited such anger in me that I had never felt before. His death felt so unjustified. It felt like we had been attacked. And it left me seeking vengeance. I wanted to pursue legal action to get revenge. But then I was reminded of this scripture. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. I felt peace then. I knew that I only had a couple pieces of the puzzle. I saw only a glimpse of what truly happened. My revenge wouldn't be true justice. My faith in God and God's word helped me overcome my rage. I believe that God doesn't just see the entire puzzle for what it is. He's the one who made it. So I will trust him. Act 3 of Face of the Trinity is called Face of the Savior, and it brings closure to Mason's story. And just as that scripture brought closure to my rage, this story brings closure to Mason's. How can you live with yourself knowing we let these people live? I know that you're angry. Your anger is justified, but they are going to have to stand before God one day and make things right before him. I wanted to advance the action and extend the lethal range of our hero. Lethal, lethal, what's the difference? I'm just extending my range. Anti-hero or something else? You let the anger get the better of you, Mason. Now you've become the villain. I wanted to explore what the psychological ramifications could be like for someone who chooses a path like Mason's. You a Bible-believing man? My daughter just told me she started reading the Bible. Doesn't it say something like, it's better to have a stone tied around your neck and thrown in the ocean than it is to hurt a child? I don't have a stone, but I do have this. <laughs> Face of the Trinity will only have one in-theater showing on Sunday, December 4th, 2022 at 1 p.m. The showing will be at CMX downtown at the Garden 16 here in South Florida. The viewing is free and we will be accepting donations as well as auctioning off props from the movie for our Face of the Rescue campaign through A21. A21 is a global nonprofit that is working in 18 locations across 13 countries to eradicate human trafficking. You can reserve your seats by scanning this QR code or following the link below. If you are unable to make it to the event or would like to donate directly to our campaign, scan this QR code or follow the link below. It is with great excitement that I invite you into the adventure that has become Face of the Trinity. Thank you for sharing this adventure with me, and I am honored to be fighting alongside you to save lives. God bless.